Matthew Schmidt, and I'm one of the newer sleep doctors here at Piedmont Atlanta Buckhead office location as part of the pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine staff. So I wanted to take a moment today to go over which patients are more appropriate for home sleep apnea testing and which patients should have direct in-lab polysomnogram or sleep testing with bypassing of all home sleep apnea testing. Thankfully, because of new guidelines in 2017 from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, this has been a little bit more clear to most providers in the sleep world. The big things we should look for in our patients, in those who should bypass home sleep apnea testing and go directly to in-lab testing, are those with significant cardiopulmonary disease, neuromuscular weakness, poor or unsafe home environments, those who display signs of awake hypoventilation, those who we consider may have concomitant or other sleep disorders not well explained by obstructive sleep apnea, those who are chronic opioid users, or those who have had recent strokes or strokes with significant neurologic deficits. Most of these patients would be better served by going to direct in-lab sleep testing. They can be referred to the ambulatory outpatient world for a sleep evaluation. And if they have none of these comorbidities or issues, and you are still concerned that they have signs and symptoms of moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea, and this seems to be a relatively uncomplicated case, these patients are definitely appropriate for home sleep apnea testing. Now, as we move forward to ordering these home sleep apnea tests in your patient, let's move over into one of the EPIC encounters. We have up a test patient here, as if you might see in an outpatient typical encounter. On the far left side is the rooming tab, and under the rooming tab is our typical meds and orders tab. So once we moved over to the medications and orders tab, our next step is to type in home, and press enter. As you can see, it brings up a order set, and right in the middle there is a home sleep test. Click on the home sleep test and press accept. Further down, under the medications and orders tab, we should see a light blue box that says home sleep test. The first thing we can do is associate this test with the diagnosis, and under the home sleep test, we can click to associate these two, and hit accept. Now under this, as you can see, my mouse has gone over the routine clinic performed. We'll click that as well, so that this test is done at the right location at the right time. Our status will be normal, this will be clinic performed, and we do not need any delayed protocol option. Scroll further down, and then it gives you an option for department. This is actually important, don't forget this. So since I am at the Piedmont Atlanta Hospital Buckhead location, I will click PAH Hospital. You can click a center that is closer to your office, and then I will click accept. Now, as you can see, the home sleep test goes back to the light blue box, and it's already been associated with our ICD-10 code. Next, in order to make sure the order is officially in, I will sign the order. And now the order is in EPIC. Great. And as you can see here, procedures ordered during this visit shows the home sleep test. In the near future, as we continue to streamline our services, many of our home tests will be mailed out directly to our patients from the sleep center locations with a video or CD installed on them where the patient can view demographics and instructions on how to set up their home sleep test at home. And of course, they can always reach out to the sleep center themselves if they have any questions about how to hook up the test on the night of their study. After the study's done, they'll return their equipment to the home sleep center and we'll make sure that the sleep study is read. So as a quick aside, I wanted to remind everyone after they order their home sleep apnea testing, don't forget to place a referral to ambulatory sleep medicine. This way, we can make sure your patient gets into the sleep clinic to see a sleep provider to discuss their sleep testing results and go over treatment options, and also to explore if there are any other sleep disorders that the patient may be suffering from. Now, here's a quick way to go about doing this. As you can see, we have our test patient still up. You can place an ambulatory referral to sleep medicine. Once the ambulatory referral to sleep medicine order is up, you see that there is a drop-down box. There are many boxes beyond this, including the department, department's specialties, providers, reason, and priority. When it comes to the department, you can click on this, and what opens up next is a large box with more options. The easiest way to do this is click an option that's closest to your office or one that the patient wishes to see. If you're not sure, you can always pick the top one, the PAH Georgia Lung Sleep Center or the PAH Sleep Center. 
Once you've done that, make sure your specialty is still sleep medicine. The provider queue, you can pick your favorite provider or you can leave it blank. You can leave it on specialty services requested. And of course, a routine priority if necessary. After that, just place accept. Hopefully this clarifies some of the issues when it comes to ordering home sleep apnea testing versus an in-lab test for your patients. And remember, if there's any questions at all, you can always refer your patients with the orders tab over to an ambulatory referral for sleep medicine, and they can see us in the office. I hope this wraps up everything and makes it completely clarified on who's appropriate for home testing and who's appropriate for in-lab testing. Thanks for listening. This is Dr. Matthew Schmidt, and thanks to my colleagues at the Piedmont Atlanta location who helped put this together. Thank you.